This is Chris Kelly with your Peak Fitness Squat Stand Exercise. All right, the Squat Stand is a great exercise to te teach clients to sit back into a deep squat and to get to deep levels of hip rotation, hip flexion. Now, for those that have never done this exercise before, what I'd like to start with is use, utilizing a elevated surface as a counterbalance. All right, it looks like this. Rather than cueing the clients to grab their ankles or their feet, which is a progression, which looks like this. Okay, what we're going to use is an elevated platform. Before we go in here, one of, one of the things that I want you to look for to know whether we need this or not is compensations that we see in the squat stand. Okay, so when we're doing this exercise, when a client does this, okay, and their feet turn way out, okay, and they collapse in, that's their body searching for mobility. Okay, we're not working the right stuff anymore when that happens. So when we perform this exercise, I want to make sure that my feet are rolled out, I'm keeping nice reference points, and I'm able to sit into a deep squat without my feet rolling out, without coming forward on my toes, okay? So I should be able to sit back here and be able to get my arms or my head stand up, okay? And as you can see, I'm a bit inflexible, but that's my range of motion, okay? But for, for somebody who, who has those things or just cannot do that, somebody that even comes up like this, okay, we're going to use a counterbalance of some kind. So I'm gonna use an elevated surface. This allows me to sit back, Okay, and use this thing to sit back on so I can kind of ride this to the bottom of my squat with better form and stand up. As the client becomes better at this exercise, improves mobility, what I can do is reach to the ankles. The ankles would be the next regression. So I say, okay, hands are on the ankles, sit back into a deep squat, hold for one or two seconds, arms up, and I rise to my feet. One more time, hands around the ankles, sit back into a deep squat, arms overhead, and rise to my feet. The last progression would be to reach for the toes. Okay, so hands around the toes, sit back into a deep squat, hands go up and we rise. Hands around the toes, Sit back into a deep squat and re rise. Okay, and a couple of variations of the squat to stand, particularly targeting hip rotation, would be the squat to stand rock. Okay, and with this, I grab my ankles, I sit into a deep squat, and I just kind of rock around and hold in this position. Ideally, we want to teach people to be able to sit back into this deep squat like we did as you know our as our ancestors did. Now, if the client has trouble doing this, we can use the same idea of counterbalance to de-weight them a little bit. They can, you know, let go, hold on, let go, hold on, until we can hold for, you know, up to several minutes. But that's our deep squat drill, our squat stand, two to three sets of ten reps is what I'm looking for there. That's our, that's our drill.